Hey, let's try the mac and beef. All right, mac and beef. You, lick... you did not see that. You just licked them. <laughs> it was a little taste test, you know? Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Supermarket Food Court Deli Review episode of Fun Bros Food. Today, we are covering the most famous California grocery store chain. I am talking about, you know the word, Ralph's. Nelson's favorite Woo! Woo! of all time. It started in 1850 in downtown LA, okay. but it is a institution here in Southern California. Ralph's Deli, let's, let's go. go. Yo. You guys, I am excited because it is a showdown between supermarkets. This is Rouse Fried Chicken. It's about okay. the same price. It's a little bit, you know, $8.99 for eight pieces. I chain. will tell you this, it is leaking oil onto my finger already. You know what it, that means though, right? What is that? It's gonna be juicy. <laughs> okay. Rouse, Rouse Fried, fried chicken. chicken. What do you guys think, man? The meat? The meat's kind of bland. Uh, I like the texture of the skin, but actually uh, the skin is actually less seasoning. Compared to Albertsons, Albertsons chicken had a much more restaurant-like flavor. Yeah. I guess a 3.5 out of 5. But I give it a 3.5 out of 5. I was a little disappointed on you know, how high my expectations was for it, but 3 out of 5. Let's bake chicken. chicken. All right. It looks like I got more seasoning. You see more peppers in this shit. I don't know, man. I think the chicken was really bland for me, and I got a thigh piece. I give it a 3 out of 5, guys. Really? For my piece, the chicken was actually juicier than the fried piece. Four out of five. I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of five. All right, All right, next up, we've got the boneless chicken wings, guys. Oh, he hit me with the ranch. They don't have the wing section like at Albertsons. Bone These are kind of like little chicken poppers. Simultaneously, we'll try with the potato wedges. Wendy's used to have potato wedges, and this is what they look like. I would say I like it more so than Albertsons. I disagree. Why I'm not that? saying it's not close. For us, you know, vegetable eaters, we like the uh, potato flavor. I would say the flavor per bite, Albertsons is better. More pepper. More pepper. I just give it a slight edge. I don't want to give it a rating. Yeah. Just give it a slight. <sighs> By a hair, though. Call this cliche, but it's a tie for me. Moving on, we have these boneless chicken bites. <laughs> that's some thigh meat, bro. Yeah, that that's is. That's not 100% processed. Hold on, let me try. Let me try to find All some right. thigh meat. All right. Mm. I felt like these had a lot of potential, but it missed the mark on the flavor. Hey, personally, I don't mind them. I really don't. Really? Yeah. I mess with them. I'm gonna give it a solid three out of five. Two point five out of five. Two man. out of five. All man. right. Oh, haters. Hey, haters. Hey, but you know, ranch. Is, ranch is the goat, man. It makes everything taste better. Nelson, when you sad in life, what are you just gonna do? Just pour ranch on your life? Yeah. Then, huh? Yeah. Is that is that what you're gonna do? And ranch makes everything better. Yeah. Drown your sorrows in ranch. Okay, you guys. Moving along. <laughs> and now, I know you're like a, yourself, a big guy. Oh, yo, yo, yo. You, you got, got a lot of meat meatballs. Meatballs. Uh, uh, Nelson, meatballs. Nelson, for the Albertsons video, you were so hyped for the meatball. I was. It was cold. This one actually looks better. They also have Chef Boyardee. Oh. Uh, what is this called? Mac and beef. Hey, mac and beef. Mac and beef. Mac and beef. Hey, let's try the mac and beef. All right, mac and did beef. You, just licked, you did not see that. You just licked them. <laughs> it was a little taste test, you know? <laughs> but what we did first, the mac and beef or the mac and beef? Oh, mac and beef, mac and beef. You lick one more mac and beef bowl. <laughs> All right, I'ma have you in Pelican Bay for 23 hour lockdown. <laughs> mm. Yo, I'm kind of feeling it. I like wow. it. Not bad. I'm into things that remind me of my childhood, but slightly elevated. Yeah. yeah. Four out of five. Wow. Four out of five. Three and a half out of five. Meatball. Oh, oh, by far, it was Albertson. Albertson's meatball wasn't even a meatball compared to this. Yo, even if they didn't got all the seasonings inside like Albertson does, it still tastes better, man. It still tastes better, man. Guys, we have jalapeno poppers. I love peppers, man. I, I like the melted cheese. I don't like the cheddar cheese. I like the white traditional cheese better. I don't like the crust, first of all, and I don't like the cheese inside. This should have been White cream cheese. The frozen ones from the frozen food I'll taste better. Not hey, zero stars. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 these poppers were not popping. One out of five on the jalapeno, just because it still had the jalapeno in it. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, let's go to the barbecue baby, section. Baby, baby. Allow me to uh, present the accoutrements. We have uh, the mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, simply sweet corn. Oh yeah. 
while I cut these ribs, David, can you distribute the accoutrements? Now I just sit tight, look pretty. That's what the girls are supposed to say. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. I think we start with the mac and cheese mac, first. Mac and cheese. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah. Not enough cheese. Blend? I don't know what you're eating. Try the corn. Not the corn's actually really good. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I thought uh, the corn was actually really good. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. when you get the corn bowls, it's soggy, it's waterlogged. Go with the mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are okay. It's bland to me. Nah. It goes like this in my opinion. The corn, the mashed potatoes, and at the bottom, the mac and cheese. Nope, that's tripping. What, how's the ranking go? It's corn, mac, mash. Corn at the top, at least. Corn at the top. Guys, get the corn, get the corn, get the corn. I get the corn, 4.5 out of five. That's too high. It's all relative to other corn. Relative right? to corn, 4.5 out of five. No? Four out of five. Okay, rolling with that. All right guys, ribs. 11.99 for a rack of ribs. It isn't bad. It's bad. I give it a three. I'm going to 2.5 out of five. 2.5 out of five. It's missing that soft, like, you know, tender meat where, like, when you rip each uh, riblet, it just rips off nice and clean. We have moved out of the meat and poultry section. We are now moving into the salad section. Potato and mac salad. I had a little taste that reveals. It is pretty much a comparable recipe as the Albertsons one. This is significantly better. There was just the right amount of pickles and vinegar. Yeah. What, four out of five? I want to give it a point system, uh, man. I just thought it was stronger. All right. Red potato salad with dill. It's different. I'm not bad. Is that bad? It's not bad. I'm not into it, though. I'm not, like, blown away. It was, like, too milky or Yeah, something. too milky. There was something I off think. about the I ratio. Think it's a too starchy from the potato. No, you are a, um, a potato hater. Yeah. We're just gonna flash potato hater underneath you. Well, yeah, like the winner between the Mac, definitely the Mac won out oh. from Ralph's. Mac won. Uh, All right, guys, so we have- tuna, I yeah. can tell, looks 10 times better than the tuna from Ralph's, man. So the tuna obviously has bigger chunks of what? Parsley, I think. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, this one's good. It's not even comparable. Yo. This one tastes homemade. This one, David, Yo, tastes like the one that mom makes. It's hella good. I gotta it's give this one a 4.5 out of 5. Yeah. I'm rolling four. four. I'm rolling four. four. Crab and shrimp Louis salad. No. I don't like it, better. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Okay. I wasn't feeling it. I was like a little too like tart for like seafood salad. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You was talking about it crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. you were. <laughs> like, because yeah. I have really low expectations, that's why. I really thought What's it was going to be like, I just give it a four out of five. <laughs> Say that you're going to go back and get this. There's no way I would go back and exactly. get this. Exactly. What about between that and the tuna? If you had to eat a sandwich. Oh, tuna by far. I'm rolling with the tuna. I give it, I give like it a four, better. I give it a 2.5. Wow. Two out of five. It tasted oh, more oh, fresh. Oh, man. All right, guys, these are two. Here we have the Tuscan pesto salad and the broccoli salad. As you guys can see, they have the broccoli flour. The other one at Rouse was all shredded up. Go try this one. That tastes a lot like soup plantation, right? Eat it with the mandarin. Ooh, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Uh, but, but let me have the Tuscan. Oh, uh oh, something wrong with this one. Oh yeah, it is. It is. I don't like it. Uh, texture, texture of the the macaroni. <laughs> that one gotta get a zero. <laughs> It was the pasta, the chalky pasta. Yeah. All right, you guys, um, I think that this would go up against the summer slaw. Ooh, I actually like that one. But this is just regular coleslaw made with no preservatives. That's what was advertised. So we'll see if the no preservatives equals more flavor. Coleslaw. Oh, that's a no-go. That's a no-go on oh, slum. New bow, new bow. New bow, new fork, new everything. <laughs> What's up with that one, man? Yo, Rouse, man, y'all gotta Something cut happened. these deli items off <laughs> your menu, man. Hey, it needed the preservatives. I don't even want to try these two. <laughs> Just try the chicken salads, move on to dessert. Oh. Damn, you booted the pastas? Oh. I booted them. Hold on, we got, we got i do the Caesar pasta. Give me the Caesar pasta. Here, it's David's bowl. Here you go. 
Here, take you know the what? Caesar pasta. No! Oh! I'm gonna eat it with chopsticks. <laughs> we ran out of forks. No! That's how many things we booted. No! No? Do it, but no! What's going on, Ralph? Oh, the chicken, though. Let's try the chicken. Well, chicken is solid. But the pasta, though? Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to Yo. get that out of here, man. Yeah, I'll, try hold on, hold on. I'll try it. Hold on. This is a message to Ralph's and people who eat these from Ralph's. For some reason, when we're eating these pastas, it's a little bit chalky. And I don't know why, but it's just not cool. I mean, it looks like chalk. That one's okay. The flavoring on te these two are okay, no. but the macaroni is still. Though. No, this not one, trying. this one is is just scraping by. All right. I, I was passable. This is passable. This one, your Caesar pasta. Oh right, man, you said it's passable. It's passable. It's eat passable. the chicken and stuff. Eat the chicken and, and no, don't eat the pasta. You can't. Uh, don't no. Eat, what? Don't even eat the pasta. No. <laughs> chicken salad with a dill base. And then now we have chicken salad, the old fashioned style. Old fashioned chicken salad. Could have used a burst of something. It was just a little bit too like, it just almost just tastes like chicken and mayonnaise. All right, dill. Yeah. I'll eat, I'll eat this one over the mayonnaise, yeah. the yeah. traditional uh, old fashioned. Yeah. This dill has celery and pickles and dill in it, which obviously is just, it just adds more flavor. So it's more interesting. Bite for bite. On a bite on its own. Still yeah. take the, I'm still take the classic. Actually, I'm not a fan of the dill. Wow. Before we get to dessert, guys, we got to talk about uh, no, real no. quick our favorites. Yeah, my favorite thing that I ate today was corn. the sweet corn, the beef and mac. Yeah. The beef, the beef yeah. and mac, actually. For someone who's not a super big fan of tuna, I really like their tuna. I'm gonna go with the baked chicken okay. and the mac salad. Yo, I had the eclair last time okay. from Albertsons. I oh. have the Pleasure of judging these eclairs. Cheesecake Factory, berry white slice. Cheesecake Factory? This is from Cheesecake Factory? Then it has to be good. No way, it's really from the Cheesecake Factory. Ho oh, oh, ho, this is fluffy. Well, I got the tiramisu. Tiramisu is Italian. It's a coffee cake. Oh, oh, God. Cheesecake, oh my God. All right, so this is my opinion on the um, eclair. The bread's worse, the filling's better, and the chocolate flavor's about the same. But overall, it's like, it's probably like a tie. Rouse dessert so far. That's good. That tiramisu was good. Right. Oh. Creamy, not too sweetie. Cheesecake, obviously, tops off Albertson's chocolate cheesecake. The, the crust is really good. Whoa. But then I don't like how uh, soft the actual cheesecake on top is. I like it to be a little more firm. Pilled. Ralph's desserts Mark. are definitely Across better the board Ralph's better. Desserts. All right, guys, tres leches. Oh, there's more. Let's just, I'm just gonna cut this. I think this is a perfect way to end, guys. Ralph's, being from California, has more ethnic food. They have a much larger sushi section. They have teriyaki bowls. Ralph's sometimes has an Asian aisle because obviously they're headquartered in LA. Yeah. Um, Albertsons, shout out to Albertsons too, headquarters in Idaho. Obviously they're gonna make some, I guess some different, like that means their core demographic's different. You know, they'll probably make some different choices in terms of stocking this item or that item. While I agree that Ralph's has some more West Coast flair, which is it being, you know, a little bit more Asian, a little bit more the Spanish, avocado but, section know, is bigger. Yeah, yeah, but Albertsons, uh, surprisingly, for some reason, they kind of take some risks. Did you see their deli section? It's huge. It's gigantic. That's why I said Albertsons felt more like a buffet. Today, it didn't feel like a buffet at Ralph's. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of disappointed on a lot oh, of foods. Wow. On a lot of foods. Because I, I always uh, believe Ralph's had the most freshest, uh, you know, items and produce, and, you know, had a lot of good deals. Um, I'm not sure how much uh, in terms of, like, Ralph's have good, like, discounted, like, sales. But I think, like, regular price stuff, they're pretty expensive. But in terms of the deli section, I was a little disappointed. Mm. You know, it is always interesting to find out where your favorite grocery store or brand is headquartered and then kind of draw uh, conclusions onto how that reflects onto the brand. So, like we said, we just did Albertsons. Albertsons headquartered in Idaho. Kind of reflects in what they serve. And then 
Ralph's headquartered in LA, from LA, reflects on what they serve. This is Nelson Chan for Hoopin' Life. This is David from the Fung Bros and Andrew from the Fung Bros. I'm about to dominate this Tres Leches. All right, guys, till next time, we out. Peace. Oh, it's good. It's good. That's boys. You, know, you have your judge. rating scale. I'm being, I have my the, rating I'm being scale. in the moment judge, which it should be how you judge things. Soap because, eater. Because you're soap eater.